and if people knew who you were off of the YouTube, you're already popular off of that. But once, once you started really rolling, kind of what was changing for you, like in like your life? Like how were like, were people interacting with you differently? Well, YouTube? No, um, once you got hot with music, were people treating you differently? Were things changing around you? Oh, uh, well, how, yeah, definitely. It's a whole different conversation with me now, you know, like it's just a big shift. And I just feel like that's just for me being consistent. But yeah, it's definitely different from when I was just doing YouTube and shit like that. Right, right. Um, with other artists, have any of them given you good advice? And if so, what was it? Yeah, one advice that I took from an artist, I did the Run It Up music video. It was featuring YB and Demir, Black Youngster, and G Herbo. And that was my first time meeting Herbo. And he had, I was talking to him, you know, I'm, I'm a new artist. I just got signed and shit. I was asking him little questions and shit. He was like, man, just don't take this shit as, don't take shit personal. It's really business. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I mean, I didn't run into so many fake people already. And it's like, that was like the best, most realest advice that I got because it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing it. Right. Right. Um, so everybody knows about you. You're famous. You got all this stuff going on, but when you're just you, when you're like just a regular dude, what are you doing for fun? Like, how are you, how are you chilling? How are you relaxing? I ain't gonna cap, man. I just be with my girl chilling. I don't really be doing too much. I be out the way like a motherfucker. I don't, it ain't really too much for me to do. Right. For real. Like right now, I mean, I'm in the snow. <laughs> you know, I'm in the mountains, man. No cap. I'm in the mountain mountains. Yeah, I'm somewhere 10,000 feet in the air right now. So I'll be trying to do stuff like that. Right. Right. But you um, know, the pandemic fucking everything up. So. Right. Exactly. So if, right, if you didn't have, if the pandemic wasn't the thing, you didn't have to worry about that. What do you think you would be doing? Or what do you, what would you want to do? Wait, say that one more time. My bad. Yeah, if there was no, if you didn't have to worry about the pandemic, what would you, what would you want to do? Right now, like, bro, I'm like, I like traveling. That's, I, I love traveling. I know, I love seeing new shit. So, you know, if the pandemic wasn't going on, I would want to be somewhere across the world, mm -hmm. or some shit. Like, I'm trying to see stuff like that. So, I really just want to focus on traveling while I'm young. Right. right. Um. All right, so before we wrap it up, is there, like, looking at your career, and, you know, you have the two plaques now, like, wh what do you want to see from yourself in 2021? Like, where do you, where do you want to go with it this year? 2021, man, I'm trying to have a, a very, 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 very strong year. I'm trying to go into 2022 as one of the top artists. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal. So I'm, I'm really just locked in, straightforward, this tape going to drop, this shit going to hit. I'm believing in myself and I'm just speaking everything into existence. And I, you know, I'm, I'm speaking this list into existence too. So 21, I, I think that's going to happen too. So, you know, I know somebody watching this over there at the editorial desk. <laughs> you write my name on that one. Man, look, look, bro. I want to tell you, it, I want to say this. Do you know how many people I had go vote? On that website, bro? And I still went on that bitch. In, yo, I'm gonna tell you I ain't right playing now. with y'all this year, bro. I'm not. Everybody listen, man. in the comments, everybody in the comments is here. That's all they're typing. They're just saying, "Yo, yo, put him on the cover." Yo, we that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, so I respect the pitch. I totally, I respect it. They need, bro. Listen, I'm telling you, bro. No cap. Put me on that bitch. I'm gonna have a little freestyle on that motherfucker. No disrespect to any other artist. I'm telling you. Watch the numbers, bro. That's all I'm saying, man. Y'all playing with me, but y'all ain't going to play with me this year. I know why we don't lie. I'm going to go ahead. And, you know, I'm expecting the email later. That's all. I'm expecting that. I'll you know, a little couple of calls and shit. I'm going to play dumb for now, though. And I'm also like, it's also it's funny you said the editorial desk. Like, I'm pretty sure the whole staff is watching this right now. I'm sure everybody's. Yeah, man. They need to write D, D, G, N, three letters. The easiest one to spell. But you definitely have to support it here. Like, the, the, your fans are not, they're not going to rest. So, you know, for sure. Yeah, but, man. I fuck with Double XL, though, man. I've been, I've been watching, I've been checking out y'all magazines and who on the list since 20, since August I've seen was on that motherfucker. So oh, I've been, yeah, I've been checking, <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been checking y'all shit out for a minute. So I really just admire the whole movement. I fuck with it. Right, for sure. Well, thank you for doing this, man. I appreciate it. Um, you know, have fun. Enjoy asking. Hell yeah, man. Appreciate you.
for sure. All right, man. Thank you. All right, bro.